Now at 9.33, for Muslims, the month of Ramadan is one of the holiest times of the year. Yeah, it's going on right now, and that can mean some big changes for people's routines. Channel 3's Aegalal is here to explain what's going on and why Muslims celebrate Ramadan. Hi, Aya. Hi, Aya. Hi. It's great to see you. Always so good nice to see, to see you. you. You look beautiful. Thank you. As Thank always. You guys look great as well. How Thank are you? you? I'm doing great. Happy Ramadan. Happy, Happy Ramadan. Ramadan. <laughs> now, for those who don't know about Ramadan, it's mm -hmm. one of those things that's always on the calendar. Yeah. Yes. And... Sometimes people don't really know the true meaning behind it and yes. the traditions that surround it. So yeah. enlighten us. Yeah, so this is the most important time of year for Muslims all over the world. It is a time of spiritual growth, a time of community coming together, and we pray more, we give more to the needy, and we fast each day from dawn until sunset. For how long? The whole month? So for the whole month, yes. Wow, that's wow. really yeah. incredible. Yeah. So each day we wake up early. We have a pre-dawn meal, and then we fast all day until sunset. And the point is to empathize with the less fortunate, people who don't have food, people who don't have something to eat each day. So it makes you very grateful for little things. So, you know, not being able to have that iced coffee that I love having oh, uh, in the morning. Oh, it includes drinks. includes drink, yeah, wow. water, yep. So, so it includes water, yes, too. Yes, Wow. Yeah. Is there a way, you know, as a child, like, mm -hmm. to prepare for this? Because that's, like, a big undertaking I would yeah. say for your body too, right? right you kind of condition right. yourself. Yeah, and some people will, you know, eat less as we get closer to Ramadan. Certain people are exempt if you have certain health issues. If you're pregnant, you don't have to fast. So there are some exemptions, but Muslims look forward to this each year. You know, it is a time of coming together and it makes you very grateful and appreciative for mm. the little things. You know, yeah. I look forward to my coffee every day and you know, during the day in Ramadan, I can't get that coffee right away. So it teaches you a lot of, you know, self-control, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of growth and just gratitude in general. What a great way to tap into empathy. Yes. It's like a real life yes. living lesson. I know yeah. ca I, I, me as a Catholic and a, a non-practicing Catholic mm -hmm. towards Easter and Christmas, mm -hmm. we tend to go to church and do. it yes. becomes a little bit more spiritual mm -hmm. during those times of holidays. Mm -hmm. Is it the same for Muslims? Yes, it is. Yes, so we will go to the mosque more. There are more prayers uh, during the evening time at the mosque. So a big part of Ramadan is coming together with the community. So there will be big dinners um, at the mosque where we break our fast oh together wow. so that's a, a very nice aspect you know on the weekends families will get together have dinner parties things like that you get to see people you haven't seen in a while so it's about coming together and also feeding those who don't have something to eat mm -hmm. making sure you donate um, if not your time then your money you know coming and it's, together and is helping. it sunset at the time of the, when you break the fast yes so sunset. you know the specific time yes, of sunset yeah so right now it's like around 6 55 so um, it gets like a minute later each day. Yes, yeah. you certainly <laughs> You're waiting for yeah, the clock to strike, yes, right? Yeah. Um, do you have to change your the way you sleep too, like to get so, up earlier? Yeah, people will adjust their sleep schedule. So I'm waking up early to have that pre-dawn meal and then, you know, changing the foods I eat, things that'll keep me hydrated, watermelon, coconut water, cucumbers, oh. yeah. So, and then you break your fast with dates. Oh, I so see. I brought some dates for you guys if you'd Thank like to try you. some. So it's tradition, sure. we break our fast with a date. Are these pitted or non? So, yeah, I believe there is a, a seat in there. there is yeah. a seat, okay. Yeah, so careful when you bite in. <laughs> Unless you want to go see your doctor. Oh, or gosh, your dentist, no, we don't so. want anyone breaking a tooth. I love these. <laughs> these are amazing. But they're so good, yeah, and we eat them a lot in Ramadan. You know, we break our fast with them. They're very nutritious. They mm -hmm. help keep you sustained when you're fasting all day. So tonight around 7 p.m. when I break my fast, I'll be eating one of those, and then these are cookies with dates inside. Ooh. Oh my so, God, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. And you say Tangiers in West Hartford? Yes, so mm, I got these so from good. Tangiers. So local market, um, they have tons of different date selections. There are so many different kinds. These are my favorite, the Medjool kind. Mm. So yeah, it's a, a fun time of year. You, you give food to your friends and family. Everyone shares uh, in the Ramadan spirit together. I love it. You're sharing yeah. the Ramadan spirit yes, with us right now. Yeah. <laughs> and I do have a quick question. In mm -hmm. Connecticut, is Ramadan celebrated differently here compared to some other parts of the country? Country? Yeah, I would say it is a little different in like Muslim majority countries where, you know, countries will basically change schedules to revolve around mm. uh, Ramadan. So I know in Egypt, my family is originally from Egypt, you know, during the day there's much less activity as people are fasting and then during the night, you know, the streets come alive, oh, wow. restaurants will do like uh, buffet style meals. Oh, that's wonderful. So, wow. you know, everyone can break their, because everyone's eating at the same time at yeah. sundown. So, so it's really cool and in different parts of the world, people will celebrate differently so it's, it's I think fun. it's incredible you know it's I haven't fun. had a date in years so I really oh, appreciate look this. look at that well please take some more. <laughs> you want to go on another date? I might go on another date in about five minutes. <laughs> you have tons of dates right here Scott. Thank you Aya. <laughs> thank you so of much. Of course. Aya. Thank you guys. Also by the way 
Congratulations. Yeah, let's see some photos. I know, you have some photos of your Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Stunning. And there's your husband. Yup. How is married life treating you? It's great so far. Very good. Oh. Yeah, this is a traditional um, like musical team in Egyptian culture. The bride and groom come out with a musical team, oh, a Zephyr wow. team, what we call it. So, yeah, and that's my husband. Oh, yeah. congratulations. congratulations. I love how you interwove the tradition. You yes. know, it's so yeah. beautiful. Oh, yeah. my word. From the veil, everything. So. Oh, thank you. Thank and, you so and much. And we appreciate you coming on thank and educating us. Yes. Yes. Come, yes. come back, come back, come back. Got more dates for you. <laughs> Happy Ramadan. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> All right, Marcy, over to you.